Are you not tired of overthinking? You think I'm not talking about it? <laughs> I am also on this table because I do overthink. But I'm really trying to work on it because, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, all they were thinking has it brought solution? Has it brought solution? You will not take the issue beyond the way it is. If you escalate the whole issue, that will not know the issue again. You guys, today's topic we're going to talk about how to stop overthinking because overthinking all they solve problem. No, 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 no. I don't know the I don't know the lyrics of the song. The only thing I know is overthinking. No, they solve problem. So without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl, Precious Oyeleke. Today we're talking about how to stop overthinking because overthinking does not solve a problem. <laughs> joking, I'm just joking anyway. So today, you no, know, I understand people that are overthinking. I understand you. It's, it's, it's not that you don't. It's not that you like overthinking. It's not that you like overthinking. Before you, you don't you don't just know the time you start overthinking. Like personally, I used to tell when I start overthinking. Like I didn't know. It's when it's when not like I know at the beginning, but when it gets a particular level, I want to be like, ah, precious, calm down, calm down. Like I'm so under those particular months where. I just started working with a new started volunteering at a new organization and I had they gave me tasks to do where I'm also working so I had tasks to do. Personally my content creation their tasks I was trying to like work on my business and start you know, creating content for my business. I started an email list so there were so many things. So everything was just happening at once and I felt overwhelmed. You find I started thinking like how will I do it? How will I meet up with these tags? How to do this one too? How to do that? My content question. How will I do it? How will I do that? This one we have to suffer for this one to shine. This one we have to suffer. I just started thinking before you know it, I could not sleep well. I started thinking. Ah, I'm sure they have checked my blood pressure that time, it should have been high. Because I was thinking. The funny thing is, when I started breaking it down, and now look at all the tags, now I'm like, okay, which one is the most important at this moment? Which tag should I get out now? Which one do I still need to go and do research on? Which one can I leave till later? But then I now itemize it. See the first thing I first did, after I itemized it, I went to do and sleep. I slept the first night. I like, I am not looking at any tax. I am not checking anything. I am not doing any research. I had a deadline to submit a particular application I was doing. The deadline was like, say, two to three days. I first looked, I said, deadline, you will wait. You will wait for me. Because the baby girl, cannot come and think and overthink and kill herself because many times when we are overwhelmed with all these issues with all these problems the issue is you don't try to we are like thinking how all people say what all people do how will this thing come out how will this thing be you know let's say a couple that like i mean for example my particular time that my i i i, I think I did, I did something to my dad and i was like oh my dad to come back why do you shout at me you do this you do that the funny thing is when he came back, he was even laughing at me. I see the issue did not happen. And, and me, I had spent the entire day thinking, thinking. That I'm like, ah, if you react like this, I will say this. If you did, I will say this. I already prepared response for every reaction. Do you know you're not saying anything about this today? And I spent hours stressing my mind, stressing my brain. The man that could have used to think about maybe creating more content for you people. Oh, I could have spent that time calling my friends, chatting my friends. I stayed overwhelmed myself with it. And I realized overthinking is not good. It's a disease that, if not tackled on time, it can dig deep into someone's life and it will start affecting your health. Because by the time you start thinking it's my little medical issues, I might now be beyond measure. So please stop overthinking that issue. I think the best thing you can do is pray. That's the first thing I would tell you to do. Pray about it. Tell God to ease your mind. To give you like the wisdom, you know, the solution. Like I do you pray as I said pray in that conversation that God I pray for your divine intervention. Because the intervention of God that can ease some issues. So I pray for God in time, divine intervention. I'm like, okay, God, I'm, this thing is overwhelming right now. All these facts are overwhelming. All these things. And there are sometimes God will say, let this thing go. 
let this one go let this one suffer not like suffer but let this thing lie just let it rest and focus on all these others so that you not break down elsewise and that period that doing all those things that are praying about it like then this piece that just like overwhelm my heart and i'm just like god i know you're in charge i know you will help me through this situation at hand and truth be told he will just like hold my hand I'll find this rest in him and he will hold my hand and I will stop like overthinking about stress myself at that point, even beyond that point in time. So after I started doing that, then after praying about it, then I'm not like break down the issues, break down what I'm going through, break it down. Let like, the thing my friend should say to me, my friend will be like, there are some issues that you have control over, and there are some things you don't have control over, and it is fine. The only thing can that constitution when you don't have control over that issue is to pray. After praying, if you can talk to somebody about it, it's fine. If you cannot talk to somebody about it, move on. Because it's not everything that you have control over. It's like you're not trying to, try to train someone's character. You mean the person that always gets angry, always you know, give you issues. And when you get angry, always getting angry with you, always giving you issues. The thing is, you don't have control of the person's anger. But you have control about what you can say to the person. You have control about how you will react to the person. They want to deal with myself. And just be calm the way I react to the person. Put the person at, at an arm's length and try and work around other issues. Then try to overthink and over stress myself about that issue. My beautiful friend, oh my god, so let's see this is so precious. That this issue you don't have control over it. The best thing you can do is to pray. The best thing you can do is to leave it to God and leave it to time. And it will ease itself. So I started doing that. You see now, nobody can keep my joy. If you like shout from now, do all sorts of things. I will be looking at you. I'll just smile and look at you and just move on because that's the best thing I can do at that point in time. So I'll tell you guys, stop overthinking. Overthinking has not solved any issue, any issue before. Any. It the only thing just to lead to is lead to more issues because anxiety will come in. And when anxiety comes in, you start having you no know, at that if I thought at that just oh god. I don't know, I don't remember the experience to share but first I had now in school. I think in 400, yeah, 400 level, as was 2018 to 2019, some issues were happening then, and I spoke to my mate about it, spoke to my friend about it, so I was always overthinking, always overthinking, that I stopped reading my books, okay, and you see me reading, I can say I'm reading for 3 hours, I'm spending like 2 hours overthinking that issue, but my face is on that book, open shit, but I'm not opening shit though, I'm not, I'm not reading, then later on, I just like started you know, point my heart to God and said, God, just take over. Because I over like I was overthinking for over four over four months. Because that issue was a very big issue. When I started letting it, you can say God take over. I used to be to be. Point now, point thing I, 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 I did there was I thought about okay, if this thing go the other way, like the wrong way I don't want it to go, what will happen? Now listen the things that will happen. I said fine. If those things happen, God will still be God. Life will still continue, and I will still turn out well. I will still be fine. I may not love the way things might go at the beginning. I will even tell me that things might not even go the best way I want at the beginning. I might have always thinking that ah, how will life after university be like? How will I cope? How will I do after university? Will I see what to do? Funny thing is, it's been three years now after I finished from university. Twenty, I finished 2019. Yes, three years after I came from university, and I've been doing so well for myself. I'm so proud of my growth. Even though my reached out to me, I was like, I was anything I look out to you, I'm always motivated to do more. Because I set myself an example. Because I'm always pushing myself that you have to be more, you have to do more. I mean, I have so many results to show for it. I know that the result is coming, and I'm cheering myself on. I'm coming myself, I say, Pearls, continue, keep at it, keep at it. You need to make yourself proud. So I would say stop overthinking issues. Stop overthinking, ah, how will my children respond? I thought it will like give baths. I wonder if I start doing this. No, stop overthinking that issue. And leave everything to the hands of God. It's not everything you have control over. Eh? The ones you have control over, try and set you, try and deal with it. The ones you don't have control over, please let it go. Don't hold on to it. You know, I watched a particular documentary one where the girl was like, overthinking is like this. Let's say this is the problem. If you were thinking a little, this is overly thinking a little, you add one to it. 
when it and now I think it is like maybe for some hours or for some minutes, I think it's then it's, you, you know you start overthinking they but you begin to think deep into that situation. This is issue. But it overthinking the issue has to be you should begin to look big in your front. And before you know it, it's beginning to bring other packages, other baggages with it. You start reacting to people in the wrong way. You start treating your family in the wrong way because you are overthinking a particular issue. Funny thing is, if you had left the issue like this, and just look at the surrounding fact of how to solve the issue, and you cannot solve it, leave the thing to time and chance, and continue your life, do you know life would have still continued? Do you know the issue might have still been solved? So please stop overthinking issues. Stop overthinking issues and continue moving with life. And hold God as your anchor because it guards you. Hmm? I need mean, to talk to someone. Reach out to someone and talk to the person. You don't talk to everybody. There's nobody that should talk that you should talk to in a particular situation. Talk to someone. Is your mother person direct to you? Be a mentor, a coach, or a therapist. I'll be fine and good. So if you enjoyed this video, you guys give the thumbs up, like it, share, and do what subscribe. The goal is to get to 10,000 subscribers this year, and we are 379 at the time I'm recording this video. And I trust God that that goal will still be achieved because anything can happen. What God cannot do does not exist. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.